As a translator for the U.S. Marine Corps in Afghanistan, Saber Rock fought against the Taliban, was wounded in battle, and used his knowledge of seven Middle Eastern languages to help turn the tide of the war in Helmand province. He joins us now on Rising. Saber Rock, great to have you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for your service. Thank, Thank you for fighting for alongside service. our country and defending your own. My pleasure. Um, I, I want to start just with a very broad question, and we're going to drill down into some things, including reconstruction in Afghanistan, what's going wrong there. Are we winning the war in Afghanistan right now? No. No. What's going on? What's the status? What's the status? That's good. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for having me over here. Um, the problem is uh, the Afghanistan government, the former Afghanistan government, the current Afghanistan government, they are lying to uh, United States. They are uh, lying to about what? How? Uh, they are censoring the facts for United States. Actually, uh, who is 99% of the Taliban? Who is releasing the Taliban under the table? Who is supporting the Taliban under the table? Just one tribe. We have 32 tribes in Afghanistan. We have 34 provinces uh, in Afghanistan. We have 35 million people of Afghanistan in Afghanistan. But the 35 million people want something else. The Afghanistan government wants something else. Afghanistan government always asking for peace. But the people of Afghanistan say, we want restore justice first, then peace. So what, it, so what though specifically is the Afghan government lying to us about? Number one, they say uh, uh, we, we, uh, we brought peace, we will bring peace. Uh, they say uh, we are majority of people, which is uh, Pashtun, one of the uh, tribe, they said we are majority, which is they are not, they are minority of the, pro of, uh, of the people. And also they are getting a contract, they are, uh, example, the Afghanistan government, uh, when they arrest Taliban or American, they arrest Taliban, Afghanistan government in one week, in one day, in 24 hours, they are releasing them. Look, how much money we have spent Billion billion dollars, American. They spent to get the Taliban to arrest them and put them in the jail, but they release them. They lying. They are mocking us. But Mr. Donald Trump, he's right. That's why the majority of people they love Donald Trump in Afghanistan. Now you were wounded in combat in Afghanistan. You've seen a lot of combat in Afghanistan. Uh, the American people, along with our NATO allies uh, in in uh, in Afghanistan, have been told that the fight is evolving. That we are getting better. That we have a new strategy now. You've seen that combat up close and personal. You have paid a price. Many of your fellow Afghans have paid a price fighting alongside Americans in this country now for over a decade. Are we making any progress in the way we are fighting and in the way that we are trying to implement a strategy to stabilize Afghanistan? You mentioned about the way. The way you guys are trying to bring peace in Afghanistan and making great Afghanistan again, you cannot. If, when you want to make Afghanistan, better, peaceful. If you make Afghanistan peaceful, you can make America peaceful too. So, because we are assistant, Afghanistan is the assistant and representative of the United States and Middle East country. So, uh, what, how, if you turn your face from right to left, because in 17 years, you were supporting one tribe, those tribes that always lying to you, always mocking to you, always, always supporting their own so Saber, how do we change that though? I mean, how do we, should, what are you saying? Turn your face from right to left. It means you support the one tribe, not 31 tribes. You always, it means American always supporting one tribe, Pashtun. If you change your face to the left, leftist Tajik people, Hazara, Uzbek, and Pashai, Uzbekistan, all those countries, all those tribes that we have in Afghanistan, if you support these people to finish the Taliban, it's easy. Why you are fighting against Taliban? Let them to fight. Who fight 25 years? Who fight against the Taliban and the other uh, terrorists in Afghanistan? Tajik people. Who brought America to Afghanistan? Tajik people. The representative name was Ahmad Shah Massoud, that he killed by suicide bomber uh, before 9-11. So, how much support does the Taliban have among the Afghan people? How powerful are they right now in Afghanistan? Afghan, Pakistan, uh, 
Taliban has two different types of support. One, direct, and the other one, indirect. Direct, from Pakistan and from their own tribe in Pakistan. 60% of Pashtun they located in Pakistan. 40% of Pashtun they located in Afghanistan. And, and that's direct. Indirect, under table. Under table means they, they, they say we are, we are good people, we, are, we never kill people, we never do this, but they are killing Americans. They are, they are taking money. You see the Afghanistan, they, 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 they made a lot of buildings, uh, properties, all that. They are not coming from Afghanistan money. They are coming from US dollars. All your money will spend it over there. Please, this is not my voice. This is voice of Afghanistan. Please stop supporting the fraud president and fraud government of Afghanistan. The president of Afghanistan cannot help you and their team. So, so it sounds like the, the reconstruction efforts, by the way, which Ron Allison Span has, has done pieces on this, we're wasting a ton of money, but it seems the reality is until the security situation improves, it's going to be very hard to do all that much in, in terms of long-term infrastructure and, and reconstruction of parts of the country. What do you say to people in this country right now who take the position, you know what, we've been there since 2001, we should be? Why we leave, why we spend billion billion dollars for security? Why you're not spending billion billion dollars for restore justice for people? Why you're supporting five people? Five people who run the government. Why you're not supporting 35 million people? If you spend billion dollars and you will spend in the future for 50 years, you will not be successful in Afghanistan unless, unless you support people of Afghanistan. So there are not some the government. Some 200 men and women who served like you did as interpreters alongside our forces who are still in Afghanistan, they're facing danger like you did from the Taliban or retribution for serving alongside our forces. What is What do we need to do to get these individuals into America? What is the holdup here? The immigration system in the United States, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, maybe they don't have enough experiences or they are they are not doing their own job. We lost, it's not just me. I targeted, I did a lot of the sacrifice and stuff. I well and I'm supporting this country until I die. But there's a lot of people that they they were supporting before and the United States government they fire them by nothing. They misunderstand the culture and stuff, they fire them. Now they're at home and the Taliban they're targeting them. Mm -hmm. How you brought them in? That's a good question. If you can please expedite the SID and and get get them over here. They are hiding right now and they are in danger. We I was the senior of ten thousand eight hundred interpreters in Afghanistan working for Coalition Forces ISAF and General John Allen, commander of ISAF in Afghanistan. Everybody they complained and they came to me and they asked that why we support this country, we support the United States now that the United States they left us. And what's the future for you, Sabra? My future, I, I, I can, I can tell you about that. That's a hard question. <laughs> but my future is serving for peace for everyone, for United States and for Afghanistan, to help the NFN, to help the orphan kids and female, and and that we are losing every day. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you for your service. Thanks for fighting alongside our, our uh, men and women overseas.